Good morning, fellow aviators. This is your future captain speaking, Jetta, and I am super excited for this week and this week's topic. Um, happy Sunday, first of all. I hope everybody is doing well. And I, I just recently put out the poll again, and I'm actually filming this one a little bit earlier than what I'm used to because today I'm in Salt Lake. Super exciting, super amazing, but um, this week's topic was just kind of surprised me, but I also took kind of like a second poll that asked other topic ideas that might be of interest, and traveling was, was the biggest uh, nominator. So this week we're going to talk about traveling, Hawaii, a little bit of, a little bit of both. A lot of people keep asking me, why do you go back to the islands? You know, so just a brief recap. I've been to Maui, Kauai, Oahu, and a little part of Lanai. My favorite island by far is Kauai. And if, if you ask a lot of people, the, the island that they've been to the most is Oahu. That's kind of like the more touristy island, which which is, it's still one of the best places to be because of the amount of history. And I'll kind of dive into that here in a second. But I, I keep going back to the islands because of the spirit of aloha. And a lot of people don't really know what that means, but the spirit of aloha is basically like... It's a family bonded love. You go there, you know, everybody talks to you as if you're family. Everybody treats you like you're a part of their family. It is the most amazing culture ever. Um, I can definitely vouch for it was kind of like walking into a different world. The first time I went was actually 2016-ish around that time which is when aviation sparked. So Hawaii is a near and dear place to my heart because it helps me find a part of myself that I didn't know existed. And it helps me find an industry that's built me into the person that I am today. And it's quite interesting to think about what exactly, you know, what exactly happened. But every time I step on those islands, I find something new even though I've been to one of the islands three times, I still always, always find something new, someone to talk to, and new friends, definitely. So I'll just kind of start with the most common island, kind of talk about my experience there, but Oahu. So Oahu is, is really the most popular island. It is the, it's, it has a rich history and so you know you have Pearl Harbor the Polynesian Cultural Center but I really kind of want to talk about my individual experiences really quick with these islands so me personally my favorite thing about Oahu was probably the the uh, Pearl Harbor so Pearl Harbor if if you're not too familiar with me, if you haven't been following my blog for very long, which is totally fine, welcome aboard. I love history. I love places with rich history. I love learning history. Um, I love learning the science behind things. I, I'm just a learning nerd, I guess. But this, so Pearl Harbor, you can tour kind of the different parts so we did the the submarine, we did uh, the battleship, we went out to the memorial. But something that really kind of struck me was the Pacific Aviation Museum. Sounds crazy, of course, because me and my little airplane mind. But this place, it had so many, um, so much to offer. And... For me, it was really impactful to see, like, it kind of came alive when we went to the aviation museum. 
because there was actually bullets in like bullet holes in the glass from the bombing of Pearl Harbor which is absolutely crazy like I kind of was like yeah this is cool this is cool but it wasn't until I hit that moment of realization that this is a real big piece of history of Hawaii's history of America's and the world so that was a really really neat experience and just reading the names down the wall it kind of provided a little bit more of a an eye-opening experience of oh my goodness all of these people were involved in this all of these people you know died they these memorials are here to remember them but it was really quite an eye-opening experience and that's kind of really the only way I could describe this because traveling, you can talk all about it. You can talk someone's ear off about traveling, but it doesn't even do justice to what it's actually like. Which also kind of brings me into the next thing I liked about Oahu was the Polynesian Cultural Center. Now, I, I love languages. I am trying to learn as many as I can. Right now I'm pretty, pretty good at, at Spanish. Learning German, working on German. German's a tough one, I have to admit. But I love seeing and meeting people from all over the world. And one thing that really struck me was going to this Polynesian Cultural Center. Because you know they had Fiji, Tonga, Samoa, Hawaii... New Zealand and you know they're the they were practicing they were showing off it's like a cultural showcase and the music the dancing the singing the basket weaving the uh, people climbing coconut trees and it's just it's a really immersive experience for literally anybody anybody and everybody would probably love to go there. I highly recommend the Polynesian Cultural Center. They teach you a lot. And I love hearing, like, they'll they'll start off their presentation by saying hello and greeting um, the crowd with, in their native language. You know, like, aloha, talofa. And, and it's it's just a wonderful experience that kind of opens the eyes to, this is what, this is what, aloha and family is all about and that's kind of what the Polynesians want the world to know you know everyone's family we're it's amazing so there's so many other places on Oahu like waterfalls beaches um Waikiki Honolulu Ala Moana you got so if you like shopping Ala Moana I don't like shopping but it's fun in Hawaii. They have so many different food places and different cultures of food that you can try. It's it's definitely the most probably diverse culturally place I've ever been. And it's so cool. But I also wanted to kind of touch on Maui here. So Maui's not like too much of the, you know, cultural or... Maui's just kind of there to play I've kind of figured that out I don't know other people might have different experiences but again these are all just my experiences and my thoughts but Maui was super fun I did I really loved one of the beaches there and it's they just call it Big Beach there's a Hawaiian name for it and I can't quite pinpoint what it was but that was pretty cool because the waves were, were pretty, pretty big. So we went out uh, boogie boarding and had lots of fun there. It's, the water was super clear, super nice. But the road to Hana, the highlight of Maui, each island kind of has its own highlight. Like, yeah, I would go back here for this. Or I would go back here definitely and go here. Um, for me in Maui, it had to have been the road to Hana. That was the most beautiful experience because 
I mean dense tropical forests, waterfalls, black sand beach, the I highly recommend stopping off at Black Sand Beach at least for a few pictures because that was super, super pretty. You would never ever expect um, nature to provide that perfect, serene contrast of colors between the black sand and the tropical green plants. And, you know, the flowers, the, the orchids, the hibiscus, the plumeria, it's just... It's like heaven on earth. And honestly, I really think that if I went back to Maui, I would definitely stay somewhere along the road to Hana because it is absolutely gorgeous. And the road, the road isn't actually too bad um, compared to kind of what a lot of people make it out to be. But that's my opinion because I'm from Utah and... We've been on some pretty, pretty interesting roads here. But yeah, Road to Hana, beautiful, beautiful experience. And stop by the um, plant shop. There's actually like a plant garden there that sells plants. I got an orchid from there and it's absolutely beautiful. So the Road to Hana really reminds me of my favorite island, which is Kauai. Now, Kauai is the farthest island to the west that people, that tourists are welcome to. And before you hit Niihau, which is the forbidden island. But Kauai has um, kind of like a hidden rich culture. Um, Oahu, it's, it's um, everywhere, but Kauai, it's kind of more subtle. But, and not often is Kauai talked about, which is kind of why I wanted to get this topic out here, because Kauai is beautiful. I, I would describe it as the hidden gem. It's the hidden gem of Hawaii. Not many know, not many go there. But I kind of want to, there's a lot of things that I liked about Kauai. And number one is definitely the beaches. Poipu Beach is so pretty. I absolutely loved it. And that's actually where we saw our first Humu Humu Nuku Nuku Apua'a, which is the Hawaiian state fish. And it basically just kind of means a fish with a pig-like nose, and it actually does kind of look like a pig. It's, it's really cute. It's a swimming pig. But, <laughs> um... Yeah, definitely beaches. The beaches around Kauai are super, like, serene and pretty. And the water is is um, that aqua blue that you see in, like, the Costco ads or the... that That's... It is Hawaii. It is definitely Hawaii. But another thing I really liked about... Kauai is a local family there um the smiths so the smiths do the luau's and they'll they'll actually give you a tour of their farm it's like a farm but they it is the sweetest experience ever like honestly it is so pretty and going to a luau like you would want you want to go to a more authentic one and this one is pretty dang good. I, the food is really, really good. And there's a lot of really good, um, th there's a, t a certain type of fish that I like. I'm not the biggest seafood person on the planet, but I love mahi-mahi. If mahi-mahi was available to me every day, I would definitely eat it every single day but unfortunately it's not and I have to go to Hawaii to get it fresh but and it's just their food their culture it's all blended together in this luau and they have singing and dancing and in a, a fire dancer show and they actually perform I can't remember what it's called but it's a story 
And a lot of Hawaii, um, the Hawaiians and the Polynesians love um, that culture. They, they love storytelling. And I love that because as a writer, as an artist, I love to tell stories. I love, just like these podcasts, I'm here to kind of tell stories. And it's, it's really fun to see it come to life within the dancing the singing you don't know what it means you, you don't know like you can understand the storyline through their dances you may not understand their language quite yet but it's just it's such a beautiful beautiful experience and another another um experience that they provide is what's called um it's a kind of a boat tour over to it's kind of like it's a hidden garden essentially and you walk up a trail and it takes you to this big open um it's the called the fern grotto and it's absolutely beautiful there's ferns there's lush green ferns hanging down there's a trickle of water that kind of passes through the cave a little bit and it's just absolutely amazing it is definitely the closest thing to heaven besides flying in my opinion it was absolutely it's like a miracle on earth so with that experience they do perform a lot of weddings there and honestly if I ever got married I would personally love to get married there if that was an option available but it's really it's such a amazing experience and they'll actually like play the ukulele and they'll kind of talk about the history of of the cave um but just these experiences that you get from um traveling and exploring new places and one of my favorite kind of quotes that I live by is you want to die with memories and not things and so I'm all about traveling and you know spending money on a new place like I would absolutely love to go to Kauai again even though I've been there three times there's still so much that a tiny island has to offer you can't see it all I've spent more than a month in Hawaii over the course of my life it's been more like a month and a half maybe and I still haven't even seen a fraction of of those islands and Kauai they offer so many like hole in the wall food places and it's really good and that's another thing that I recommend is if you're going somewhere new try something that is local to the place Don't go to like international chains or places that you can get at home. Try something new. One of the restaurants that I highly recommend on Kauai is this. It's called Garden Island Barbecue in Chinese. And it is so good. They have literally the best mahi-mahi. But some of the food that I've tried there, Smitty Smash Kauai is really good they have really good hamburgers or smash burgers I should say and on Maui there's a really good fish taco food truck I can't remember the name of it off the top of my head but the the cultures of food that kind of gets mashed together there it's really really cool so Lanai we did kind of like a snorkel excursion um, a boat ride over to Lanai and saw lots of fish, uh, saw a couple turtles. That was really cool. The turtles in the ocean life. I never truly knew that something existed that beautiful underwater. It's the coral, the colors, the fish, the, it is the prettiest thing ever. And so, Um, We also went over to Molokini Crater. That was nice. And on Kauai, another thing I highly recommend is 
taking a boat around the Nepali coast. So that's on the north shore of Hawaii. So basically you can picture uh, Utah mountains, the, the Uinta mountains, but taller, more of a cliff type, uh, rugged, definitely green, beautiful, lush, tropical, gorgeous, and like all the way around the northern side of the island. And that boat ride was super, super pretty. And it was so fun. The The wind was a little, was, was a little bit, um, it, it was a little gusty the second time we did it. But the first time it was perfect, like perfect conditions. And it was so much fun. And the fish, the the snorkel life over there, the sea life, I should say, is so pretty. So another thing about Hawaii, tips and tricks, I get asked a lot. Um, really, just go there to enjoy yourself. And the biggest thing that I learned about Hawaii is they, they love everyone. And it's pretty amazing. I kind of went there a little bit like, mm, I, I think, I think this is going to be fun. But no, it is an absolute blast. Basically, there's a lot of Hawaiian songs and reggae songs about, um, it's, it's just kind of like, don't have a worry in the world. Yeah, go there, go to Hawaii with that attitude. Because if you do, you're going to have the best time of your life. And Hawaii... You may be thinking, oh, well, you know, it's just kind of like Salt Lake, but with palm trees. And honestly, no, it's not. It is the most prettiest place ever. I mean, even Honolulu. I loved Honolulu. I loved Waikiki. I loved, I'm a more, I like the more outside of the city, the more rural parts of, of um, places. But I must say that it was such a pretty place. And Kauai, all of the islands I've been to, I've loved at least something. And I don't think there hasn't been anything that I didn't like on the islands. So basically just go with um, an attitude of, I'm just going to do whatever I want. I'm just going to chill. I'm just... Um, island time make sure that you kind of relax a little bit that's definitely definitely a, a life tip when going to Hawaii because I used to be kind of more used to the upbeat hustle and bustle of Disneyland because we used to go to Disneyland a lot but when we went to Hawaii it was basically stepping into a whole different world and I must say it was so nice and a lot of people say that Disney is the most magical place on earth. You know, we've heard that a thousand million times. But in all actuality, I personally think it's Hawaii. And that's what keeps me coming back is the magic that's in the air, the people, the culture, the amazingly, you know, diverse things that you would never kind of, I don't know, get back at home, you know, You've got so many options to choose from. There's so many outdoor activities. Hiking, uh, kayaking. I did do a kayaking adventure on one of the islands and that was so amazing. But there's so, there's that rich history that each of the islands possesses. Some of them you might have to dig for it a little bit more. Like Kauai, they actually have, you can tube down kind of like an old canal and it's really funny and you get a it's really fun and you get to go through caves and it's really this serene experience and if you're ever looking for something different um you can go to hawaii a thousand times and i can guarantee you that you're probably gonna find something new every single time because when i go a lot of people say, you've been to Hawaii so many times, I bet you you get bored. <laughs> that is not true. There's no way on earth that I could ever get bored of Hawaii. 
and what it has to offer because there's that it's just that connection the 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 beauty of Hawaii it's so out of this world beautiful there's no way I could ever even describe what it looks like I mean I'll kind of pan through some pictures I'll make this podcast a little bit different for you guys a little bit of a change of scenery but I'll kind of put up pictures throughout this but I'm really looking forward to going again pretty soon and so be watching out for content about that if you want to put in the comments which island do you think I'm going to and why I'm curious what do you guys think but I'm definitely going to put out more uh, podcasts regarding Hawaii and everything you need to know because it's amazing. I've been asked so many questions about it. So I really want to get the information out there about why it's the best place to travel and just some things to do. So within the next little bit, little bit, please be watching for another podcast kind of coming out about more specific things to do and more specific recommendations for my specific island that I'm traveling to within the next little bit. Now with that being said, have you been to Hawaii? And if you haven't, please try to go at some point because it should and needs to be on everybody's bucket list. But what's coming up for Jet Aviator is super fun. Of course, my surprise here in a couple of months a uh, private pilot license is coming along pretty good, pretty solid. That is going to be to be an amazing feat to accomplish within the in the next little bit. I also have another project I'm working on that kind of has to do with these podcasts. I'm just kind of wondering when and where I should publish it. I kind of want it to be a big deal, but it's most likely going to come out after my private pilot license has been acquired. I also want to make it known that I'm on TikTok now. I'm trying to make videos on TikTok. Is it working out? Not the best, but we're trying. Um, <laughs> so happy March. Happy first week of March. 2023 is going by super fast. And I cannot believe that it's already March. So happy March. Um, I did change the livery. It is green with a turtle. So it's pretty cute. I thought I'd put it up. I was going to do a shamrock for... Um, I was going to do a shamrock for St. Patrick's Day. But I decided on a turtle. But anyways, I hope all is well with you guys. I think I'm going to end here. But mahalo for watching my podcasts, listening to them. And I look forward to going more into depth about Hawaii within the next little bit. And I hope all is well and be safe, stay safe, fly high, and don't forget that flying is freedom and freedom is flight. Thanks guys, bye.